Now that we know how to create data extensions, let's look at how to add, delete, and edit rows and data extensions. So let's get started in Contact Builder. So let's hover over Audience Builder and click Contact Builder. So we're at our data extension in Contact Builder. Click Records right here. And then to add a record here, you'll click Add Record. And then you'll fill out the information for the person here and then click Save. And then we can see that person added on the last row here. If we want to edit that person, we can click the checkbox and click Edit and edit their information. Every piece of information besides the primary key, which is the email address, can be edited. Once that's done, you'll click Save. And then if you want to clear the record, you can click the checkbox next to their name and click Clear Record and Marketing Cloud will give you a warning and then you'll click continue. Now, in Email Studio, you can't add a specific record like we did in Contact Builder. You also can't edit a specific record and you can't delete a specific record. So you're going to have to make sure that you're in Contact Builder if you want to add, edit, or delete a record in a data extension. All we can do in a data extension in Email Studio is edit the field in that data extension, unless it's the primary key. Another thing you can't do in Marketing Cloud is you can't change the order of these fields. So say you wanted City to be the first field up here, you can't pull this up here. That to me is one of the only drawbacks to Marketing Cloud that I really don't like. I wish there was a way to pull this field up to the top field here, but as of right now, you can't change the order of the fields. And that's how you add, edit, and delete fields in data extensions.